That is what I want the NDC to understand. Because agreement that went to parliament is not an agreement between ECG and the shareholders agreement. That's not what went to parliament. It is a PDS. And so we, as government, we are more concerned with the PDS. For what reason the NDC start talking about uh, the shareholding structure? I have no idea. And today, to begin to mislead Ghanaians that Ghana government or uh, the, the, the government under His Excellency is offloading shares from Miracle to uh, uh, Meridian Power, when this thing is clear for everybody to see, and these are the people that want to come to this country after 2020. I mean, in opposition, what I know about parties in opposition is that you have a lot of time to yourself to do research, read, and come out of issues like this. But if you are in opposition, you are doing this, if you come to government, it will be worse. So you're telling us, you're showing the entire nation that by next week, we're going to know the, the current state of the ECG. Pretty sure. Of PDS. Pretty sure. But I advise you go and talk to Jirasi Runketia and uh, uh, what's the other name? John Ginapo. They should come and apologize to Ghanaians because if they are doing this, they are not giving confidence to Ghanaians. We uh, people in government, I want a very credible opposition to put me on my toes, come with policy alternatives, put us right so that when we correct things, we do it for the interests of Ghanaians. But if they are doing this type of, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it doesn't give confidence to anybody that is an opposition. I don't saw, saw them or you know their actions as an opposition in this country. The NDC, I know, is not the current you know, form of NDC I'm seeing. They better go and sit down well and do their homework. When I say this thing, sometimes people say I don't speak well, but this is a fact. So if it comes out that a major asset like the ECG is not guaranteed, it should be a worry to all of us. And that is why we are concerned as government. And that is why government is concerned, precisely. If a major asset, what we see now, major asset belonging to Ghanaian is not well guaranteed, we should be concerned. And that is why the president and, and everybody is concerned. Concern. The is they concerned. are not concerned about that. They are not concerned about it. They are talking of things within. Yeah, they are not concerned about that. If an asset is not guaranteed well, and you're supposed to pre present that guarantee, I expect the NDC to come up with a credible alternative. These were the same people who said that the current uh, stru uh, structure in terms of the shareholding is being held by the president and his cronies. These are the same people. So if the president, oh, so if it is true, and I want to restructure it, or I want to throw it away, then they should be happy. Why are they complaining? If you are saying that the current structure, as it is, is being held by President Akufado and his cronies, and then the ministry say, okay, if that's the issue, let's cancel it, or let's restructure it, that so that it can never be the case. President Nana Adodanko Akufado will not involve himself in this. Have you found any shareholding structure that has something to do with Nana Adu? Maybe the Meridian, that, the, the Meridian Power Venture that Asiedun Ketia is talking about. I don't know, maybe his auntie maybe there. I don't know, you should go and find out. <laughs>